hello students hope you are doing well so today we are going to uh, do the step bar element structural linear analysis now you can see here so the figure shows in below find the displacement of each nodes at reactions at supports so we have the step bars okay so first section is 400 mm length second is 300 and it is last is 200 mm length and its diameter is first for first section 38 second 27 and third is 15 so this is here there will be the first node here will be second node at this point third node and this will be the fourth node so now uh, the 210 gigapascal is the young's modulus so we can convert into uh, newton per mm square because all dimension are mm and the force is also 15 kilo newton is also we have to convert into newton it is 515000 Newton. So Poisson ratio is 0.3. It's uh, this bar at 1.8 bar is fixed and force is applied at the another end. So we are going to solve this in the LISA software. So let's see how to solve this problem in the LISA software. So we open the LISA software. Now click on the new sheet. Then uh, next is we have to select the 3D in that static 3D. Say op. In 3D you have to select 3D and static 3D. Say okay. Next is now you have to create the nodes. Click on the nodes. So this node will will be appear. So here zero. Next is Y is zero. Z is zero. First node. Add. Next is Second row is at four hundred. Add. Third node is at four hundred plus three hundred. It is seven hundred. Add that node and fourth node is at four hundred plus three hundred plus two hundred. So that is nine hundred. So add. Close this. Fit to scheme. Okay, you can see first, second. Third and fourth. These are the nodes are created. Now next is new element. So once you say new element, the new element will be open. So you have to select for new element one. Sorry, one comma two. Add. So first element added. Then two comma three. Add. Second element is added. Three comma four. So now last that is fourth element. This is added. Then close this. Now next is we have to apply the. Uh, so here we have to apply the um, material to these elements. So here first I will select this uh, element. Select it. Then components and material. It's a new component. So in component one, assign new material. So here we can assign the material as well as cross section. So it is circular bar, and the diameter of first element was, I think, thirty-eight, uh, thirty-eight diameter. The mechanical isotropic property Young's modulus is two one zero. And Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Say close it. Now once you do this, you can see here the cross section area is changing. So okay. Next is same. Select the another element. Okay. Then here add. Component, so you can see component two is there. Now in this component, assign material. Sorry, assign new material. So that you can change the cross section. So once you assign new material, circular bar having diameter twenty seven. Say mechanical properties isometric. Young's modulus is two one zero double zero. 
and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 this is close it okay now if you see here show element surface okay you can see here now similarly element select the third element so it is ah, now it is selected new component so component number three that is applied to element then assign new material so once assign new material it is a circular bar having diameter 15 mm and mechanical properties isotropic Young's modulus is 210 kilo Newton per mm square and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 then close it now you can see here all the uh, sections are applied now we have what is remaining we have to apply the uh, loads and constraint so I will select the node select it then click on the select face now load and constraint so this end is fixed so apply fixed support fixed support to the okay okay current section next is where we have to apply the load so here so I will say element select this node select the face load and constraint new force what is the direction of a force it is in x direction and it is 15 kilo newton so 1 phi u double zero 15000 newton in x direction say ok so you can see this force is applied now next is what is click on it say solve so once it is click it is going to solve so now you can see the what is the x displacement okay you can, x displacement is 0 0.14 mm why there is no uh, force in y and z direction so there is no displacement in that direction so you can see what is the reaction forces so reaction force is in x direction that is minus 5000 here at this corner so close it if you want that answer in the tables so you can take the tables you can say update uh, select all the displacement in x update you can see node 1 0 displacement node 2 0 point 0 0.025 0 0.6 and 0 0.14 mm displacement if you want element value update so here you can uh, check the longitudinal stresses update so you can see the st uh, stresses at the different points okay so we'll close it copy to we can copy it and paste to the clipboard also notepad also say okay now if you want to see the simulation of it say i will say here animation so in animation if you want to do the display so y displacement is no, uh, not there so it can be only in displacement in x because only displace we apply force in the x direction so this is the simulation so we'll stop here so thank you